Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Reboot, the show where we take a classic game and discuss how we would modernize it for present times. Today, I'm joined by my main man, Jams. You can find his information right down here. He's a really great guy, great channel, so definitely check him out. And today, I'm so excited that we are discussing Castlevania. We're going to talk all about it, break it down, how we would modernize it for 2018 and 19, and, you know, kind of decide if we're going to be getting a new game soon. There's not much more to say than grab your favorite snack. Yum, yum, yum. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget. Here we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Reboot, where we talk about classic games and how they should be rebooted. Today, I am joined by my good friend, Jams. What's going on, buddy? Uh, nothing. How about you? I'm just chilling out, <laughs> chilling out at this uh, end of summer type of feel. It's a little cooler, oh, you know. Man, yeah, it's nice. That's just cool. That's just cooler weather. Uh, starts getting uh, into the air. October comes uh, comes right around. It kind of feels a little spooky and uh, Halloweeny. So it's a perfect time talking about this next game. And I'll let you uh, start it off. Tell us a little about it and uh, a little reason for why you have some nostalgia. All right, Castlevania. I love the Castlevania series. Um, it started with watching <laughs> the Angry Video Game Nerd, and he was talking about Castlevania 2, and that made me want to play those games. Mm -hmm. um, I played 1 and 2, never played 3, Super Castlevania 4 is amazing, um, Symphony of the Night is amazing, and then after that, that was the peak, and it just started going down, 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 down. And uh, have, you, have you beaten any of those games? I have not beaten any of them, <laughs> but... <laughs> they say that Castlevania 3 is, like, the best one, also. Yeah. I gotta play that one, honestly. Um, but I just... I love the whole series. Everything about it. The music. The... The lore. It's just awesome. And it's a shame that they haven't made a game in, like, four years. Because Konami sucks. <laughs> I know it's a damn shame. I mean, recently we've kind of gotten some hints of like Konami wanting to bring back Castlevania. We have uh, Simon Belmont and Recon and, uh, and Smash coming out. So that's like, you know, the franchise is not totally forgotten. Yeah. You know. Um, but like my nostalgia of those games, I think I had one and two as a child, and like could never get very far in them. Yeah. But uh, hard. They were also yeah really hard. But there's something about them that always brought me back and got me like trying right to keep playing it but let's say we reboot the franchise yeah let's talk about uh art style what would be like an art style that you could envision i man if there is an oversaturated of like 16-bit games but i think that's the only thing that's it's gonna work with i really do like side scrolling pixel game like i feel like that's it maybe they can go the Mega Man 11 style that's like 2.5 yeah looks like it's hand drawn kind of but it's not that could work really nice but um they could even maybe <laughs> do anime style like the anime on netflix oh that'd, that'd be good be people cool. seem to really like those also right yeah i mean i i like them they were they were, it was entertaining they weren't i didn't love them but they were definitely entertaining yeah um with the new bloodstain game coming out uh, yeah. I don't love the art style in that game. I think it's like, I don't know if it's too dark or there's not enough like color saturation. I agree. Something about it kind of like throws me off. I mean, obviously I'm going to get it and play it and, and I'm sure I'll love it. There's just something about it that throws me off. So I, I do like where your head's at with like uh, a two and a half D where you kind of like walk inside the plane a little bit, yeah. but not too much. Yes. And some games just just work better in 2d just like look at mega man mega man x they try to go into 3d and that flopped x7 terrible game x8 mm -hmm. returned back to 2d for i think most of it mm -hmm. if not all and yeah. well, those game are also was like times better those games are also very early on in like yeah when they were playing around with 3d space but like yeah i know i know what you're saying like i think Castlevania game can't be like uh, can't be like Uncharted. Yeah, I, no. I don't want to be behind Simon Belmont or whatever the character is. I think a 2D 2D or 2.5D game is good, but yes. my only fear is though if you make it like that, people think of it as like 
not a discount title, but not yeah. a triple, triple A. Experience. Just like with that octo, all the Octopath talk beforehand. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I would. I think I would make it 2D, but I'd give it a you know like a modern-ish art style, maybe. Maybe even a little cell shaded. I know we talked about that yeah. a little while ago. Maybe a little cell shaded. It might look good. It might look good. It might look good. But I... it's all about <laughs> it's all about the map and you know all that stuff. I was honestly thinking uh, that Smash Direct because it started with the ESRB rating and it said like <laughs> it said rating pended to T, and I thought they were going to announce a Castlevania game during it and that would have blew my mind and that would have blew yeah. everyone's mind imagine a oh, castlevania yeah. game exclusive to the switch that would how suck. about how about a castlevania uh luigi crossover boom I, this is what we got in that uh, trailer <laughs> i would love that <laughs> that would be the most ridiculous game ever <laughs> so, i guess we could we go right into like the plot that we'd want uh so if, if let's say uh luigi's not in it what do you want a custom custom protagonist fighting off dracula or you know you probably probably just go traditional and yeah there's enough things to do they should probably stick with i mean like who's the coolest in the series alucard just make us play as alucard again alucard sure <laughs> maybe like a bit of a backstory where like the family and then they get all yeah. killed and you just sound like whatever war, warpath, warpath dracula's dracula, his nephew dracula's <laughs> nephew Maybe they should throw in more other... I mean, like, they do have, like, the Frankenstein monster and stuff like that, but maybe they should make them more part of the plot, you know? Like, so all the these throw monsters. Throw the mummy in there, Wolfman, why not? Yeah, right? why not? That would be you know, cool. Each each level be a different monster, and there's a few different stages within. Yeah. And, of course, bring back those, that RPG ele- those RPG elements from Symphony of the Night with, like, the customizable, or, like, the equipment that you can find and put on, and... And like stats, that's that's awesome. But keep the Metroidvania style. That's that's a must. Yeah, I think this goes right into our next topic of gameplay. Like, I think keeping it Metroidvania is crucial. Yeah. I don't know how they can uh, expand on that. Uh, I like the idea of like multiple pathways and secret items, and you need to find yeah. those secret items to make the rest of the game easier. And if you don't, it's gonna be a more difficult time. Yes. Let me ask you this. What do you feel about lives? Do you think lives are important? Or do you think, like, always be able to go to your last checkpoint when you die? Hmm. I feel like... I feel like we gotta make this game hard. So I feel like lives should be important. But if you but if you die and you get a game over, you just start the level, like, the level that you're in over, and not, like, from the beginning of the game. That's unfair. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not. I agree. I agree. And maybe we could put a uh, an easy mode in for people yeah. that like you go to the last checkpoint or whatever. You lose ten coins. <laughs> you lose, you lose ten coins. You keep going. I think that was smart in Mario. That was. <laughs> but uh, exactly. Wow, Odyssey was amazing. Um, so what big jump do we need to take to see uh, Castlevania, like really expand? You know, like yeah, you know. I, we, I don't think we just want another Shovel Knight or another uh, Bloodstained. I think we want something new, but, like, what can we do to make it feel new and fresh? Oof. Man. This is a hard question. Because the formula already is pretty tight. Yeah. But, of course, there's room for improvement. Mm-hmm. What could they do? Maybe, like... This would be interesting. Like a couch co-op mode. Two-player Two Castlevania. I could see that. I could see that. that some combos. Cool. I could see some couch co-op. It's always good to have some multiplayer action in there. Yeah. You play that on... Uh, there's a show out there. What's it called? The co-op Kings, right? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Cheap plug. Cheap plug. <laughs> um, you know, I was just thinking off the top of my head. But how about like super dramatic cutscenes, right? But then, like, goes back. It's like a, a normal yes. art style that we're used to. So it's like kind of like, shit, like you're like, whoa, that looks super realistic. Then you go back to like, 32 bit or whatever <laughs> size of this game. Yes. It's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So like a, a deep story that you actually feel for these characters, or like, the bad guy has like a motive that like he's doing a bad thing. But you kind of like, 
understand what his perspective is. Like he's uh, Dracula. Yeah, like Thanos. <laughs> like he's a bad guy, but like kind of. You, kinda, you kinda understand. understand, yeah. You understand where his mind is coming from, I guess. Hell yeah. um, I think this one's a little easier for this game, but like, what needs to be kept so the soul of the game is still there and it's still a Castlevania game? The music. I think the music makes Castlevania. It really does. The, that music is so beautiful. And if they keep yeah. most of like the original tunes just remixed, mm -hmm. which is really what Smash is doing with most of that music, um, yeah. that would be that would make it feel like a Castlevania game. You know, right there, like this game, they don't even need to create new music. They can just yeah. borrow from Smash. That's true. See, they, um, they already got half the work done. Money. Save money right there. <laughs> um, I would think like a Grand Symphony Orchestra. Yes. Like playing Castlevania music. And like oh, a real man. sense of like horror and like mystery. That's a good one. Music. We're just going to have to uh, definitely stick with music to keep the soul. Yeah. Now, now, one of my favorite parts of the show is name that game. Ken, what, what do you want to call the next Castlevania? There has not been a game simply called Castlevania since the NES, so I feel like just Castlevania would be going, perfect. Go, going with the uh, God of War strategy. Yeah. And just, oh, yeah. Uh, Castlevania. Yep. No, no, I, I like the idea of Dracula's Revenge. Ooh. Yeah, because they have Dracula's Curse and now Dracula's Revenge. That'd be good. Uh, final thoughts? Final thoughts on another Castlevania reboot. I feel like the only the only company to get Konami out of this rut is probably Nintendo. So if they possibly had like partnership to create this Castlevania game, put it on the Switch, it would sell like hotcakes. Let's be real, everybody. Sell like hotcakes. See, I kind of want. I think it. I think I think it needs to be bigger. I think it needs to be on PlayStation and uh, PC. I think it needs to be. I think it needs to be all over the place. Um, I feel you. I got you. you know, we've mentioned this earlier, but like these new characters in Smash, the new anime show, like the franchise has not been forgotten about. It yeah. kind of feels like it has, but there are signs of life. There's a little heartbeat, you mm -hmm. know, for Dracula to suck on. So I kind of feel like we're going to get one eventually. Um, but like from scale of one to ten, one, this game will never happen. Ten, definitely going to happen. Where are you at? Ten. It'll happen. A ten. Wow. A one ten. day. Yeah. I think I'm right there with you. Like the Castlevania IP, it's too big, never to happen again. Yeah. So I'm with you. I'm at ten. There will be another Castlevania. Hell Dracula's yeah. Revenge will freaking happen. <laughs> All right, Jams. Thanks for coming on, man. Tell everybody where they can find you. I am on YouTube at YouTube.com/slash/JamsGams and Twitter at Doctor Doom with nine O's. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, thanks for being on the second ever episode of Reboot. This is Turbo Jesse, and remember, every game is just one game away from being rebooted. Bye, everybody. Bye.